happy days, or maybe not such a happy day today. Um, I've been dealt some information. This is Health, Wealth, Life, day 26, and uh, I hope you all have an amazing day. Um, I had an interesting day. It's something, something really profound, uh, challenging, sad has happened today. And uh, the story goes like this. I woke up and um, a few of my friends and my colleagues where I work uh, sent messages and we'd all been told this morning that our gym has closed down. I've been there personally 17 years. Al, you know, just looking at your messages there and, uh, you know, I'm feeling it as well. You know, 17 years I've been there and uh, it's like home from home. I've spent so much time there and spent, met so many great people and friends there and had so much fun. It's quite a, a sad day. This really is a sad day. Um, but the message of, uh, of this live is when the going gets tough, right? When the going gets tough, the tough get going. No matter how we feel about it, we, you know, what I've been talking about in the previous videos, we need to, they're, they're all mounting up now. They all make sense even more so than when I've been delivering what I've been learning through them and the trainings I've been through. So alongside the physical training, there has to be a lot of mindset stuff because this could throw us, throw me off. This could throw anyone off, right? So literally our business is gone. We weren't informed and it's like, get out. And that's the way it is. No warning, nothing. You know, some of the guys, some of you watching this will know what I'm talking about. Um, it's, uh, it's one of those things and it is, uh, it is sad, but sometimes life throws you a curveball. Sometimes it throws you a curveball and you, you can either perceive glass half full, glass half empty. This is an opportunity or it's actually a massive setback and you know, it's going to hold you down. And I realized how much my mindset has changed, how I could have felt more negative about it. I could have really felt the, even the sentiment, uh, emotions coming through. But at this point in time, they wouldn't be helpful. So I, I could really get into the sentiment side of it because I've been there so long and so many nice people there, but they wouldn't be helpful right now. We need to cherish those moments and those memories, but to keep moving forward on the goal and to, to stay upbeat and to search for a better way and a solution. So, you know, I've been there 17 years. I met so many people, clients, built businesses there. I've got two, three businesses that run out of there on different levels, different things. And uh, it was, as I say, it was home from home, knew it like the back of my hand, you know, 17 years in one place. You know, if you can relate to that, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. If you spend a couple of years, three years somewhere, you know, when you leave there, it's quite a wrench. So this is quite a big step and an interesting challenge in life. But I do feel like the training I've been doing, the things I've been learning and the, and the things I've been sharing with you guys um, have, are really helping to get the correct mindset to be positive and, and make forward progressive movements. So, you know, circumstances, they don't def define us. Circumstances really don't define us unless, they, unless we allow them to. Circumstances are actually an opportunity, whether they appear to be negative circumstances or positive, they're an opportunity to reveal who we are and who we can be, who we can fill that space with, you know? So, I, you know, I want to, I choose to be, uh, you know, health wealth is the actual line of it. So I choose to be that person, a healthy thinking person, a wealthy thinking person that there's enough abundance out there. There's enough opportunities out there that something great will come up and I can team up with someone new, new that I maybe haven't met before and, and wouldn't have had the chance of meeting. So I'm looking on glass half uh, full for, for sure. And, uh, you know, you're welcome to do whatever, but you just feel better this way. It really is that simple. We could go into the the, you know, the, the vibrations on a physical level of the molecules, but it just feels better. It really is that simple. And so the, the gist of it today, the going gets tough, is it's a way of being. This is what I'm learning. This is the main thing I'm learning today. It's a way of being. So no matter what happens, no matter what, however life hits you, it's not if you stay down, it's a matter if you can get up and how quickly you can get up. So, and, and how you, your mindset and your energy behind uh, behind you and, and that comes through you when you get up and this is a big challenge it's a big challenge so uh, we'll see we'll see what this comes up I'm, I'm reading messages as as uh, as I film this video with friends and commenting on the situation it's a big thing you know there's lots of people who worked in it must be 50 people who are now uh, all of a sudden gone into work today is a notice on the door and bang gone unbelievable it is an unbelievable story but uh, it, it's going to be part of our journey all of us going to be part of our journey and it won't define us it'll reveal us 
and reveal who, who we want to be. And we'll team up, we'll get together and we'll be friends for a long time, those of us who have the energy to do that. And um, we'll, we'll rise again. We'll find somewhere. You know, one door closes, another one opens. I think it's a big opportunity. That's the way I choose to look at it. It's a big, big opportunity. Hi Tara, glad you joined us a little bit earlier today. I'm at 6 p.m. every day uh, doing a training, doing a, a lesson that I learned that day, an insight that I gained. And it really is the going gets tough and it's all about a mindset today. No matter what happens, you know, I'm, I'm, I've shared my story today. It's a massive negative story that my whole business has stopped right now. But uh, it's interesting what doors have opened up already today. I've been on the phone, had many great conversations and the and potential is there still. It, it, you know, nothing is dead. The whole thing is not dead. So... There's always life. If you can take a breath, there's life. Continue. You can heal. My friends, uh, I won't talk too much about this, but three, three. I thought th uh, negative things happen in threes, right? So both uh, mine and my partner's uh, mums had uh, health scares this um, coming year, and they were both both cleared yesterday, so that was amazing. And also my friend's uh, son, who I've known since a little boy, was in a car crash in a coma since Xmas Eve, Christmas Eve, and he came out, and his friend was also in a coma. I knew them both really well, and they've both come out and are recovering and talking. It's absolutely amazing. So those three negative, really negative things that started the year for me really uh, looked positive. They looked like an outcome. And I wake up this morning, and then bang, 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 get another one there. So... Um, those other three things actually soften the blow of this one because I'm thinking it's not a matter of life or death. We're still breathing. We can get up. We can use the skills we've got. We can use friends we've got to to rise and, and come again. You know that Japanese saying, Kaizen is it? K-A-I-S-E-N? Correct me if you know it better, if you know the correct name of it, but it's uh, fall down eight, stand up nine, something along those lines. So it's basically if you keep standing up, then you can't fail. And I've talked about that in another, another video. But this one, going gets tough, tough gets going. It's your mindset that's really been drilled home for me today. And I realized how much of a better mindset I'm in for the training I've been doing, uh, the reading, the physical training, the mental training that I've been doing, and uh, how I've been applying myself and the community I'm in and with you guys. And, and positive attitude really does make a difference. It's not too woo-woo. You have to look glass half full. You have to keep your energy. You have to keep moving forward. And it's great to be in a community of people that support you like that and uh, support you on your travels. You don't want anyone who brings you down, bring you up. So spec you're the average of the five people. So get them to be positive people. So when you remain focused, this is the last point I want to make today. So when you remain focused, you so you could be a quite an emotional person or you could be really business minded. And they say business minded people are really cold because they don't show emotions, but they enable a certain level of success, that coldness. So I'm not suggesting we be cold, but I'm suggesting we gain better control of our emotions because I'm sharing that lesson with you. My emotions could really run away with me today because I've been there so long. I've got so many friends. I've got so many memories there that they could run away and that could, I could miss an opportunity that's, that's, shut, that's right in front of me, that's right in front of my face. So having the ability now to keep those emotions there, I notice them, I feel them, I can go into them at any point, but I can keep them in check and keep myself on track and my vision of what I want to create, who I want to be most importantly in the face of whatever is showing up. So... Here's, the, here's a really big thing. So um, perseverance, perseverance in the face of adversity is the difference between success and failure. So the more we can persevere, no matter how much adversity there is, will determine whether you succeed and your level of success against your failure. Now what this also, this whole lesson has shown me today is how much urgency did I have in my life before? Because I sure have it now. <laughs> I sure got it now because... I have to. I've got a family to feed. I've got a mortgage to pay. You know, we, we haven't, uh, I can't retire. Not yet. So we'll keep working. We'll keep growing together. And um, that's my story of the day. That's my insight of the day, sharing a little bit of myself out there with you guys. And uh, I'll be happy to hear from you. Any suggestions you've got? I'm in London. I'm based. I've got a, an international business as well, which is um, part of my product range. Uh, happy to have a conversation with them about that. Absolutely wide open for business opportunities right now. And uh, I've got a good few things uh, bubbling in the, in the pipeline still, which, which is great because I've been working on those alongside my bread and butter business and PT in the gym where I was at. And the great thing is about that, that now they can come into the forefront even more. And this, isn't, this doesn't affect them in any way. The only way this would affect them is if I collapse and I crumble, which isn't going to happen. So... 
uh, all good learnings, all good learnings and realizing that the, the things I've shared, the insights I've shared and the lessons, the trainings I've given uh, for the last 26 days um, have really helped to solidify things in my mind and I hope they've helped you in some way and given you one or two insights yourself and helped you uh, in any way they could. So I hope if they have, give me a thumbs up, give me a share if you think this has helped you or if you think this can help anyone you know. But uh, we'll stay positive in the face of adversity and the more we can do that, the more success we are likely to meet. So going gets tough, tough gets going. It's a sad day, very sad day today, but we'll rise again. I'll keep you informed of how it goes. If you're interested, send me a message, but uh, we'll be back and I'll certainly be back tomorrow. It'll be 6 p.m. tomorrow, Saturday and Sunday. I hope uh, that you can make it. I hope you can give me a thumbs up and like it and I hope you can share it. I really appreciate that. So uh, let's keep talking. What did you learn today? What didn't you, uh, what did you miss out on? What did you gain by accident? You know, share, sharing is caring. So let me know what's happened for you. Remember, happy is a skill that you can learn no matter what's going on. And this is a better way to bring out your personal best. Let's go get health wealth. Let's take the world with us. Have an amazing evening. Take great care of yourself and everyone around you. I'll see you all tomorrow, guys. Lots of love.